All right, Brandon cannot make this. Listen, I got this. <laughs> Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I just decided in this exact moment, right here, right now, that I was gonna vlog. I don't really know what I'm vlogging. I have nothing to do today. I'm not doing anything. I'm literally going to the gym. That is all I'm doing today. All I'm doing is going to the gym. It's been half of my day. Why am I vlogging? I don't know, man. I was like, hey, I'm gonna just freaking do it right now. I'm gonna just freaking do it. So, I decided to do it. If you're here and you're watching, I do truly 100% appreciate this love and support you've given me. And I will see you guys at the gym. Maybe that's all I'm going to post. Maybe I'm just here to post a workout video for you guys. Say, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing today. This is what's going to look like when I hit this workout. That's what I'm doing. I'm showing you guys what I do. That's it. All right, bye. been shoulder pressing heavy and low-key first of all first of all i'm surprised i got 30 for eight like that low-key i'm like <laughs> but i don't want y'all to see it so i'm like <laughs> but that shit oh what you like my outfit like this like this vlog here hey look at this uh, 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 uh. nope y'all don't get that uh. all right we're about to hit these lateral raises Brandon cannot make this. Listen, I got this. First of all, clean your machine, all right? And then she's about to miss an embarrassment. Go out and die. Watch this shit. Hey, ready? Are you ready? We're ready. Fuck, my heart is crazy. It's only because. Honestly, I didn't really get a good wait, angle of it. But... No problem. No problem, no problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a good angle. All right, there's the trash can. There's Brian. All right, no Photoshop. Let's go. Oh, that's 
pretty good. I can't do it. That's pretty impressive. Okay. I don't know why. That was hard. All right, damn. I'm not doing it again. I think I hurt myself. <laughs> All right guys, so I decided that this video, you know, after you enjoy that little killer, might I add, shoulder workout that I just took you through, I am going to go through my gym bag. And here's why, because first of all, I know we all think it, it's like, why are you carrying that gym bag with you? And then all you do is pull gloves out of it for lifting and then, you never pull anything else. No. I have everything that you need for lifting in this bag right here. So, we are now going to go through it together. Okay. Also, I cropped this shirt. It's the men's dual t-shirt from Raw Gear. Super cute. So, guys, if you want a t-shirt, clearly this was I cropped it, it was long. You know, check out Raw Gear, ladies. If you want a cute little t-shirt that you can crop, there you go. Code Brie. Use it all day. All right, we're gonna do this. Okay, so. First thing, item in my gym bag. Shabam and Shabam. So kind of use. These are knee sleeves and have I always used them? No. I just recently started using these um, on my leg day. Honestly, absolutely incredible. If you guys don't use knee sleeves, you should get them from around here also. Code free. All right. <laughs> Next in item in my gym bag is my own roller, foam roller, okay? Listen. I know you're gonna be like, you don't need to carry that. They have them at the gym, my gym has them. I don't need to carry one in my bag. Yes, you do. Do you know how many times I've picked up a foam roller at the gym and it's been disgustingly sweaty because people will use it all gross and then not wash it? Yeah, it's happened. It's gross. That's why I bring my own. Okay, I feel like I don't like that you can't see these as we set them up. We're gonna Oh, that's real quick. Okay. We've got headphones. Obviously, I don't even have to explain this. Everybody has headphones in their gym bag if they have a gym bag. Then, we've got a belt from Raw Gear, Code Brie. I guess I'm done, I swear. Maybe. But, again, I like to use my belt, honestly, on almost every day of the week on my workouts. I use my belt for my compound movements. For example, you're deadlifting, okay? This shit's way heavy than you. Wear a belt, support your back, okay? Support your bracing. Also, I wear it when I do dumbbell rows if I'm deciding to go heavier. I do it when I'm doing heavy shoulder press, literally. You can't go wrong, okay? Do you want lower back pain or do you want that extra support? Okay, we can do it. Yeah, oh, my core is strong enough. Yes, okay, it can be, but guess what? Safety, extra support. Why would you not want extra support? Please tell me, please. Next, pre-workout. I always have an extra thing of pre-workout in my bag in case I forget to make it before I come to the gym. Okay, because there's nothing worse than when you're really relying on that pre-workout but you're rushing out of the house and then you get out of the house and you're halfway to the gym and if you're like me, my gym's far. And then you realize, mm, I didn't make my pre-workout. Oh, guess what? Bam! It's in your bag. It's ready to go. Not a problem, guys. No problems here, we come prepared. Next, I have an assortment of booty bands because, well, you know, you never know when you're gonna need these, okay? Every leg day I need them. Got different sizes, different weights for different things, okay? Assortment of booty bands, get it. Hey, this is like turned into an ad of things for you guys to get. 
next, I have straps. This is my holder for my straps. I just don't want them in there because straps. Helps with your grip strength. When I am deadlifting or doing heavy dumbbell rows, anything like that, where I'm picking the weight up off the ground and the weight is way heavier than my grip can handle, but my legs or my back can handle the weight. Um, the straps really help because you don't really have to worry about your get, grip strength giving out, okay? Because the straps got your back. They got your back, okay? Okay. All right, next. This baby. Mm. This is my scarf. I'm just kidding. <gasps> stupid okay this baby right here is great for warming up if you need it but what i like to use it for is pull-ups okay you want to get your pull-up game up you feel like you aren't doing enough pull-ups you can't do pull-ups at all guess what if you get one of these little babies they help you right out they take a little bit of weight off not too much it makes you get that pull-up going it makes your back stronger it's all you want okay uh, this is just an extra pair of straps before I got my new ones. So let me skip through those. All right, next. That's not supposed to be in here. All right, we got some trash in here. Let's ignore it. Next thing in my gym bag. Ladies, this one is for you. This is the honey pot. They're wipes for the feminine area. Because guess what? When you're sweating, and gross. It's not good for us females to sit in it. So after the gym, I just wipe with these. Get it all cleaned up. <laughs> I cannot work out properly if I'm not fed properly. So I always eat before I go. But sometimes when my workouts are super intense, I need a snack during it. And the type of snacks that I go for are snacks that are basically straight carbs and no fat. That has like a little bit of protein in it, I don't care. That's, that's nice, get that extra protein in anywhere. But carbs, high carbs. I'm gonna show you great snacks for it. First of all, sour strips, okay? <sighs> Candy, great for the pump. This shit gives you the pump, okay? It's delicious, guys. Amazing, sour strips. But also, if you're not a candy eater, I always carry pretzels in my backpack. This one's literally got no fat. No fat. It's literally straight carbs. Carbs fuel you. Simple carbs, okay? Converts to energy like that. So what, now you're getting an intro workout snack, you're getting energy, and your pump's gonna be better, and you're freaking happy because you're not hungry, okay? Always carry snacks in your gym bag, okay? That's a pro tip. If you're not doing it, then you don't really go to the gym. If you don't have snacks in your gym bag, you don't really work out. I'm saying it, okay? You don't. That's what it is. Your last thing, always carry chest because I personally, personally, I have chronically chapped lips and it's gross. So I have to have chapstick in everything, okay? In my backpack, in my pocket, in my purse, in my shoe, in my bra, literally. If there can be chapstick there, I need it because my lips are so chronically chapped that it's literally ridiculous. So, yeah. So basically, this is not set up beautifully, but that is what I carry in my gym bag to the gym. And I don't know about you guys. I don't even know if this is something that you guys kind of want to see, but I remember before I carried a gym bag to the gym, I was always like, why this man got this big ass duffel bag and he ain't even using anything in it. Listen, there are essentials in that baby, okay? Listen guys, if you have a gym bag, everything is right where you need it. You don't have to worry about going out to your car. You don't have to worry about forgetting things that you might've needed. It's like, oh, oh, forgot my belt. Nope, it's in your gym bag. Oh, ew, I have to use this sweaty foam roller. Oh, no. You got yours in your gym bag, guys. Listen, this is an ad for carrying a gym bag with all of your favorite products in it, okay? That's 
to this house. But anyways, so that is it for this spontaneous YouTube video. Hope you guys enjoy the workout. Hope you guys enjoy the gym bag haul. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to support your girl. If you want to see more videos, um, drop some suggestions. I'm open for them in the comments, guys. Just let me know. All right. Talk to y'all soon.